Hey you guys, I'm back. Alright, well, here's the new doors installed. If you remember a few months back, I took the the old door, the old openers, the uh, the overhead openers down, if you remember that video. So, let's go ahead and run it. I got my clicker program to these people's door. Yep. I can tell you right now, the door is not as quiet as mine. Let's go ahead and run the big one for you guys. There you go, guys. Guess who put these in? <laughs> and it don't sound real good. Nope, it does not sound real good, guys. You guys gotta see this. This door is so jacked up, it won't even close it. So, yeah, there's something wrong, guys, with this. If you hold the button, I think the safety sensor outline, but I don't think so. I think there's either something wrong with the opener or the door. So let's go and run it down. Now, if I hold the button, it'll close it. But if I let it go any time, it will go back up. Sorry about the odd video, but that's the only way it's gonna work, guys. Sorry. So either there's something up with the door or the opener. So it needs some adjustment, guys. They're clo pays, unfortunately. That's what they are. Pieces of shit door. The guy at D&D, oh, that's the best door you can buy on the market. Not to me. This goes to show you guys. My CHI does not have this screw in it. That goes to show you this is not a good quality door. And I know there's gonna be some people, oh yeah, it's a good door. Not to me. When you gotta put sheet metal screws in to hold your brand, these panels to your brand new, new door, it's not a good door. Get a CHI. Here's freaking clothes pay for you. Piece of shit door. Yeah. Not like mine. So it's a piece of shit. Don't buy it, guys. So, I, I don't know what model doors these are. You know, they, they don't tell you or anything. So, try to find you a sticker, size of the model. <sighs> model. Model, model, model. No model number, guys. So, if you know, tell me. So, all right, you guys, let's run this back up. I'll get you a quick shot of the, shot of the outside. And then we'll call it in that call. We'll get out of here. This is a gate association, so it's just a matter of time to say, hey, get out of here. So let's go and run it up and I'll show you the outside. Yeah. Piece of crap, huh? There you go. There's the outside. We'll go ahead and give you an outside shot real quick and then so say I gotta get out of here. See what I mean guys? Piece of shit door. Do not I'm just waiting for this freaking thing to break and it's a brand new door. Absolute piece of garbage. Do not buy these doors. This is the kind of quality door you get when you buy a clope. So, it's a piece of shit door, guys. Highly, highly recommend do not purchase a CA or a SCCHI clope. Do not purchase a clope door. It's a highly piece of shit door. If I meant CHI, I was. I didn't mean that. Just don't purchase a clope door. It's a piece of shit door. Absolutely piece of shit. Garbage, guys. Absolute garbage. Galvanized springs. No good. Well, D&D &D put these in, so that's all they use, so. Yeah, piece of shit springs, piece of shit door. Garbage. Absolute garbage, guys. So, I know more running the door. 
this thing, these things are a mess. So, all right, you guys, enjoy the video. Once again, I highly recommend you don't buy a clope door. They're absolutely pieces of shit. The guy from D&D said, oh, it's a really great door. He's wrong. It's a piece of shit. All right, you guys, I got to get out of here. Once again, this here is the Garage Door Man 82. Have a good one.